Synth Riders has native support for custom saw, so modding won't be necessary. You can simply drag the song files to the custom song folder and that's it. But if you frequently update your song library, I'd say there may be better ways to do it. Today, I'm going to show you how to add custom songs to synth writers in three different ways, including how to do it from within your headset. First method is through Noodle Manager. This method uses a computer and is for Windows only. If you're in a Mac or Linux, you can jump to the next method. Download Noodle Manager from the link in the description. And be sure you're downloading the version with the latest release mark. It's a zip file so you're gonna need to extract the contents. But if you don't see an extract option, download 7-Zip or WinRAR. Connect your headset to your PC using a USB-A to C or a USB-C to C cable. The Quest charging cable should work too. If your PC doesn't detect your headset, don't worry, we'll fix that later. Open the extracted folder and run Noodle Manager. Click Setup for Quest. Go to Songs and start downloading. Click the gear icon and click Send Songs to Quest. The first time you click it, it probably won't work yet, but it should trigger this message to appear in your headset. Click Always Allow and then OK. Click Send Songs to Quest again. You won't see a confirmation message, but this time it should work since we already allowed USB debugging earlier. So as you can see, it worked. This may be the simplest way to do it, but the other methods offer a different advantage. Next up is through SideQuest. This method works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is also a requirement for method number 3 which is downloading from within the headset. I already made a video previously that included the initial setup for SideQuest and the prerequisites, so I'm just gonna insert a part of that video here. It's quick and easy to do, but if it ends up to be a long process for you, trust me, it's worth it. SideQuest is something I would recommend to every Oculus Quest owner. You can download a lot of free games and apps that you cannot find from the Oculus Store, install regular Android apps from external sources, and you can stream to your PC wirelessly. Step 1. Log into the Oculus website and create an organization. No one else can see the name of your organization, so you don't need to think of a fancy name, just a unique one. Step 2. Launch the Oculus app on your smartphone and enable developer mode. Step 3. Download and install ADB drivers. You can download it from the Oculus website or you can also check the description for the direct link. This is for Windows only. Mac and Linux can skip this step. Go to your downloads folder and extract the downloaded file. If there is no extract option, download 7-Zip or WinRAR. Open the extracted folder and look for Android underscore WinUSB. Right-click it and install.
If there is no install option, check this page I linked down below or you can also google no install option for INF file. Step 4. Download and install SideQuest. Go to sidequestvr.com and download your installer. Windows 8.1 and below are no longer supported but you can try a manual installation. You can find a link to this guide in the description. Step 5. Allow USB debugging. Using any compatible cable you have, connect your headset to your computer. Once the headset is detected, the connection status will change to this. Now put on your headset and you will see this message. Check the box and choose OK. Now it's connected. In SideQuest, click the globe icon and click Go to URL. Change the current URL to synthwriters.com and click Open. Now bookmark this page so you don't have to type the web address again the next time you download songs. To bookmark a page, click the globe icon again and click Add to Current. When you hover on a song, it will show three buttons, Preview, Download, and Noodle Install. Choose the Download button since we are trying to download through SideQuest. Check the Task Manager if everything was successfully downloaded. Okay, that looks good. Click this folder icon to go to the File Manager. Click the Z icon on top to open the Synthwriters Custom Song folder. You can also add songs manually here and delete them. These icons on top are all shortcuts. If you have more games you frequently add custom songs to, you can also add more shortcuts by clicking the plus button. Last method. Downloading from within the headset with the use of Total Commander. This requires a little sideloading but after that it's going to be completely wireless. To sideload an app, you need SideQuest. Watch method number 2 if you don't have it yet. Go to apkpure.com and download Total Commander. Now open SideQuest and click Install APK and find the Total Commander APK you downloaded from APK Pure earlier. Go to Installed Apps and click the gear icon for Total Commander. Now give Total Commander permission to read and write data. Now you can disconnect your headset from your computer. On your headset, open your internet browser. I'm gonna use Firefox Reality since I've had better experience here with my downloads. Go to synthwriters.com and download songs normally. Open Total Commander by going to your library and then Unknown Sources. If you use the Oculus browser to download songs, you should find them in a folder called Downloaded Files. If you use Firefox or other browser you downloaded from the Oculus Store, you should find that app within the Android folder and look for its Downloads folder.
So I found the songs I downloaded using Firefox. Click each icon to select. Hold the trigger. And choose Copy, Move, Send. Click this to change the destination folder. So now we have to find the Synthwriters Custom Songs folder. Click OK. And then move. And that's it. If you learned from this video, please don't forget to leave it a like.